Voting is power. While it's great to get out and show your support for cause through marching and protest, are you organizing for power or noise? Organizing for power means you are taking affirmative steps to ensure change by engaging your local leaders and pushing them to address issues important to you and your community. Organizing for noise means you're just out there shouting, waving that poster, and pumping your fist. But what else? Think back a few years ago with the Occupy for Change movement. It highlighted the fact that 99% of Americans were suffering economically, while 1% held the bulk of wealth. While it brought forth these economic issues of disparity, little changed with subsequent elections. Now compare that movement to the election climate of today. Organizing for power has resulted in the defeat of Alabama Republican Senate nominee Roy Moore. Organizing for power has resulted in the Parkland, Florida students registering thousands of new voters. But remember, registering to vote is just the first step. So if we want change, then the most powerful action we can take is to vote. Marching and protesting are great, but without the vote, they're just noise. For Focus on Women, this is April.